Okay, and we're back. So, today we're gonna do some UU. And we're actually gonna use our main account because if we check the ladder really quickly, uh, we're obviously top 10, so the game searching should take a while. So maybe we'll only get one game depending on how long it takes to search and how long the game actually is. But I did wanna showcase how, like, this account, how we play on this account when we're super high on the ladder. Like, we're top 10, obviously. We're gonna try to get maybe top five by the end of this video. Uh, we're pretty far away. We're 20 points away, so eh, maybe it's not doable. Maybe we'll only get top six, but either way, it would be pretty cool. Um, we get one immediately. Not immediately. We've been searching before we started the game, but we do get one. And Durant is a huge threat, of course. Uh, they did drop it just to, uh, I don't know why they dropped it. Mama Swine and Durant were unbanned, so I don't know why, but they did, so... We have to play with that in mind, but uh, we can lead Weezing, I think, is pr fairly free here. Dragalgy is a little annoying, I guess we go hard Blissey. Uh, I think we could have led probably Incineroar as well then, maybe, but... Yeah, this is fine, we can just S-Toss here. He flip turns, okay, interesting. I'm not really sure what he wants to do here, maybe he just wants to go Durant, but either way, it's okay with me. He does go Durant immediately, and uh, here I think we go Weezing. As he- ah, oh, jeez, okay. So Hustle, he doesn't actually have. The problem is, he's still gonna do damage with Iron Head, so we have to go Incineroar. He home cost again, wow, dude, okay. Um, very choice play there. I guess we'll go Skarm now. Uh, he superpowers, okay, Jesus Christ, that's a lot of damage, okay. Um, we'll go Weezing again. Ugh. This obviously isn't ideal. We do need Skarmory still, but it's not terrible at least, so it's there, that's the thing. Can you stop home closing, dude? Okay, don't iron it, damn. All right, we live because Hustle isn't there, but he could flinch us and that's, ugh, dude, are you serious, man? All right, that's super annoying. Uh, that, that is super annoying, honestly. I guess we go Quag now. Um, yeah, I don't really know how we can win this here. Uh, if he has X's there, we definitely don't win this, I don't think. Ah, uh, dude, that, that flinch, man. Okay, it's, it's annoying, but uh, I think we can maybe still do it, depending on how well Incineroar plus Blissey can take on the team. It's obviously not looking ideal, but uh, I don't know. That flinch really sucked, but uh, okay. Yeah, I, I don't know how we can handle this at this point, honestly. I guess we have to go Blissey, of course. He flipped turns, okay, that's fine. I see, brings in Grimmsnarl. Okay, so this actually could be a chance to uh, bring in our Skarmory and start recovering, unless he's taunt. Okay, that actually just killed us. Jesus Christ, dude, are you serious? Holy crap. Um, okay, I guess we have Quag then. Uh, I don't know. I just don't know here. Uh, yeah, this is not looking good for us. We'll try to Toxic this, but uh, honestly, Earthquake might just be better at this point. Yeah, okay, we do get the Earthquake damage off, but he lowers our attack, so that's... That's pretty annoying, because we don't get enough Earthquake damage under Galaxy if he wants to come in now. He Darkest Larry, it's okay, we'll Scald, look for a burn, maybe. Uh, maybe he wants to go Durant, look, f because uh, we're not, you know, we're obviously not, like... Yeah, maybe. Okay, we do get the burn, which is pretty good for us. Not ideal, but we'll go in Sonora here. He sets up T-Specs. So we'll knock off, of course. I think that's just our objective best play. As he goes Skarmory, interesting. Okay, we'll actually try to get a rest off on Weezing, maybe. It's not looking too good here, of course, at all for us, but uh, yeah, I don't know. It might just be our objective best play just to try to go into Weezing and try to get a rest off. He gets a procs. Okay, that's fine, I think. Uh, probably not, but you know. We'll rest here. Ah, Bravery Pro. Oh, it doesn't kill. Okay, so actually we're not too bad anymore. Um, yeah, we'll try to burn some turns maybe. I don't actually know. Um, yeah, I guess we'll try to burn some turns. He goes Sharpedo. That actually scares me that he's special and not physical. So if we get it wrong and he is actually physical, we probably lose this game. But if he actually is special, then yeah, we can pretty much wall with Mantan and defog away the rocks. As he goes to Galgi, interesting choice there. Um, we'll just go Incineroar, of course. Uh, he spikes up, we'll try to knock off his uh, item. We do get it off, which is great for us. Flip turn won't do any damage because he's burnt, of course, and he has minus one attack. He goes Durant, okay, so he's probably gonna superpower. We'll go Weezing first, I guess. He Iron Heads, good play, good, good play, good play, dude, good play, okay. Ah, oh, man, I guess we go Mantine then. I Man, he's getting us on every turn with this goddamn- I uh, guess home class was actually fairly free there, so um, I can't really blame him, but... You know, it is what it is. Crunch again, okay, interesting. Now he's actually dead to, uh, thing, so he might click superpower expecting the- Okay, he doesn't, interesting. Okay, I don't really know what he was doing with that Durant there. He actually might have put himself in a losing position now by doing that. Um, because basically what this allows us to do is we can just get an Incineroar. And Draco Meteor doesn't kill us, so we can rest up here. 
And yeah, that's very free for us. Skarmory is totally fine. We just go Mantine, right? Yeah, I don't really know what he was doing with this uh, Durant, but I think we're in an okay position now because we can do that and now we can just click Scald and look for a burn. Yeah, now it's totally over for this dude. I don't really know what he was doing. He really just kind of threw the game, if I'm being completely honest. Um, yeah, we'll soft bolt here. He sh okay, he bulked up. That's fine. We'll heal belt now, though. Maybe he wants to bulk up again, but he sh probably should just Darkest Lariat. So, yeah, that's fine. We'll soft bolt now. Uh, if he wants to bulk up, we'll just go Quagsire. Okay, oh my god, he's doing a lot of damage. Don't crit, please, ever. If you ever crit, we lose, but... We need to keep this somewhat healthy. Okay, I think I'm okay with that, and we can just go Quagsire now. And now we can just Grover here. It's fairly free. He shouldn't want to switch, because, uh, of course, we can just click Earthquake if he switched out, so that would be bad for him. And yeah, now he's not in a great position anymore. We just go Incineroar once again, and we can click a knockoff. Uh, he flipped turns, okay, that's fine. Uh, Skarmory wants to come out, we just go Mantine again. And yeah, I think now we're just totally winning here. Body Press isn't doing any damage, we can just Scald freely here. Dragology will take damage, and uh, we'll get more damage on it too. He can't flip turn, obviously, so that's fine. If he T-Spikes up... Hmm, I actually haven't considered what to do if he T-Spikes, but I think we just Scald again, and then we can try to absorb it with our... Uh, with our wheezing, as this should be okay here. Okay, so Shadow Claw could be a threat, so... I think, technically, the correct play is just going Cinnaroy on the first Shadow Claw, and then we can just Toxic. He should try to SD. Oh, okay, going Skarm is fine too, but, like, you know, it doesn't really gain him that much. Hmm, okay, we'll just call it here. It's very free. Super free here. We'll look for a burn. And we will get it eventually, so yeah, there's one game and one win. Uh, he definitely threw this game. He could have won easily with the Durant, but somehow he decided, no, no, I'm good. I'm good. I just don't want to win the game. So that's perfect for us. We do win the first game. We'll probably get one more. And uh, yeah, we'll see from there. Let's see. Where are we? Okay, they didn't update yet, so we'll just look for one more. By the way, if you guys are enjoying the video, please subscribe. <laughs> like... If you, if you enjoy the video, okay? If you guys enjoy the content, then subscribe. If you don't, then no worries, don't click it. I'm not gonna force you to click it, obviously, I don't care. But like, 70% of my viewers aren't subscribed. And that makes me pretty sad because either that means I suck, and like, they watch the video and they think I suck so they don't subscribe, or it means that uh, they forget to subscribe. So I'm telling you guys, if you like me, if you don't think I suck, subscribe. But uh, yeah, that's enough begging for subs there. It, so yeah, uh, that's basically all I want to say. Ladder says updated, so we'll look one more time. Maybe we're top 5 already, but maybe we're not. We're not, um, and we're probably not going to be top 5 after one more game either. Yeah, because we need 10 points, and uh, we're probably only getting like 6 or 7 points from the next game. Okay, this is a very, very tough team to deal with. He has a Bear, Skuda, and Keldeo. They kind of break very well for each other, especially because Mantine is very much walled by this Heliolus. And every time Heliolus comes in, he gets to Volt Switch out. And Blissey will just take continuous damage. Um, that being said, we do have T-Spikes, and T-Spikes are super annoying to his team. So we'll probably just lead with this and try to get that up immediately. Uh, he flip turns. Interesting. Um, yeah, that's very interesting. Clefki wants to come out. Oh my god. Why is he Steel Beam Clefki? Are you serious, dude? What? That's not a set. Okay, dude. Whatever. Alright, I guess we'll try to bulk up here. That is not a set, man. And he gets the defog off, whatever. I guess we're at Earth knockoff now. Um, yeah, I don't know. I really don't know, man. Steel Beam is just... Oh, he's rain. That's why, okay. We'll keep bulking up, obviously, but... Okay, maybe he'll let us win. <laughs> okay, interesting. We'll knock off here. Um, if he goes Bear Skuda... What does he do, dude? He's in a liquidation, right? Yeah, dude, no damage. That's fine. We'll defog here. Okay, so Keldeo is a threat, obviously. We'll Scald. If he wants to sub, I think we have to spam Haze. Yeah. Um, I think, like, we just kind of have to do this forever and, like, PP solids calm minds, basically. Yeah, I, I don't really know what else we can do, so we'll do this. Uh, we break this sub, we'll roost up here now. This obviously isn't the ideal way to win, but it is a way to win, so we'll do that. And we do have enough sacred, he doesn't have enough sacred swords to break us, so that's great. Let's call it again, the sacred swords, and now we'll roost. But yeah, we do PP stall this. Keldeo out of its combine slash sacred sword, so we're okay with this. So I'm not too worried about that, but I'll just spam some hazes now until okay, he's still spamming sacred sword, which is interesting, but it is what it is, I guess. We'll roost up here. He probably just wants to go Heliosk eventually. There he is. Hmm, okay. Now we'll go Blissey maybe. Uh he Voltage is good play, of course, but it is what it is. Um 
Yeah, I don't really know how we can win here. Does he want to sub? He might want to just sub. If he wants to sub, I'll let him. And well, yeah, this is great. Or sorry, if he wants to, I meant if he wants to take it, sort of let him because that's fine. And now we can haze, and this should not do a KO. Perfect. So now we're absolutely winning. He definitely should have subbed there because it was no risk, but like maybe understand why he didn't want to. We'll just go Blissey. He just hyper voices expecting the Quagsire this time, and we'll toxic here. Okay, he makes a good play into Keldeo, but not too bad. We just have. Okay, now we'll go Quagsire. This could be a misplay, but probably not. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And we'll just earthquake now. Okay, Flagman wants to come out. Interesting. He's leftovers. Does that mean he's special as well? Um, we'll let him U turn and we'll get the Scald and look for something. Sableye will maybe get the burn? No burn. Okay, that's fine. We'll go into this. Encore obviously can't affect our Dark type, so we'll just bulk up now. Brain Dance will knock off immediately. Yes, perfect. So Barracuda gets knocked off and this dies. Awesome. Uh, Helios can't kill us even with Surf in the rain. So, yeah, that's. He just dies too. Perfect. And now we're just winning absolutely here. We're in an absolutely, like, wonderful position. We can just go Skarmory. Um, Scorching Sounds obviously doesn't affect us because we're flying. And uh, we can get up Rocks here as well. If he wants to U-turn, that's A-OK -okay with me. We have the, uh... We, okay, ooh. I think we live the knockoff as well, so that's fine. Now we can rest up. And yeah, Kaldir is going to take continuous damage, and we can just go into Mantine, of course. And yeah, we'll just click Skalt here. It's very, very free. Flygon will just keep spamming Scald. If he wants to defog, he'll take more and more damage. Uh, we'll go Blissey and Heal Bell. Okay, he doesn't let us Heal Bell, but it's fine. If he wants to go Sable, I think we'll just Toxic first. Okay, Kaleo, good play. I guess we should have Heal Bell then, but it's fine. Uh, we can Roost here. He's almost out of Sacred Swords. Um, yeah, we're never letting Sable knock off our Mantine, so we're just gonna do this, and then we'll Heal Bell. He has Taunt. Interesting, 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 interesting. Okay. Uh, in that case, we might just want to go into Quagsire. Yeah. He should not click Earth, or he shouldn't click the water move because we have the Mantine, so we'll get the Earthquake here, and now we can double into Mantine, expecting him to Hydro Pump. As, okay, Skull, the same thing, but yeah. Now he's essentially dead. If he wants to attack us, I'll let him, but we'll just go Blissey. And uh, yeah, he's called again, expecting the Quagsire. Obviously, Blissey covered that play, but the bigger play is we can just start Seism Tosses for free, and uh, eventually, what we can do here is after this dice, we'll Heal Bell, and now we'll just spam Toxic. Um, He'll eventually want to U-turn or he'll die, just die to Toxic. Either way, just spamming Toxic is the correct play. Yeah, he does U-turn here. If we get the Toxic off on the Sableye, then we can go Incineroar and just start spamming Knockoff and we're just absolutely winning. As he can't really touch our Incineroar and he Rain Dances to let that die. And now we'll knock off its Leftovers as well because this thing can't touch us either. And we'll just keep spamming Knockoff until this dies, of course. So yeah, that's pretty good. Perfect there. We'll say GG, of course. And yeah, basically I just wanted to show that, uh, how we play this stall team in the high ladder. Obviously we're like almost top 5, so I would consider that high ladder. Uh, if we're top 5, that'd be awesome, but I doubt it. It's very much doubtable at this range. We'll see, I guess, uh, yeah. I guess that's cool. Oh, I guess we'll update where we are on the other ladders, um, while we wait. So, in RU, I think we're still, yeah, we're still number 1 and 2, that's awesome. And you were like, not even close to the top. I th yeah, I don't think we're even close. We'll check though. We're maybe okay. We're top 150, so not close at all. Um, let's see. Pu, we're still probably up there. H A K H A. Yeah, we're we're top 35. <laughs> Almost top 30, so that's good-ish. Um, in OU, we're not even close anymore. I don't think so. We'll check, of course, but I don't think we're anywhere close yet. Actually, we're almost top 100. Okay, that's that's cool, I guess, but. Yeah, we're not close to the top by any means. And I think by this point it should have updated. Yeah, so we'll check you and we'll see if we're top 5. Hopefully we are, that would be great, but I doubt it. Yeah, we're just shy. So, I think... You know what? We'll look for one more, honestly. Honestly, what's the worst that can happen? We'll just get one more game. Hopefully we get it fairly quickly. If not, it is what it is, but... We'll look for one more game. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens from there. Let's see, so, yeah, like I said, we're like, we're pretty up there on almost all the ladders. NU is not that great, um, OU is not that great, but PU and RU were obviously, we're obviously very good in RU, but uh, UU were up there, but not number one. Um, PU, same thing, we're kind of up there, but not close enough. OU and NU were not very good, and Ubers I haven't played. Ubers, LC, and ZU, those are the only other tiers that I really consider Smogon tiers, Monotype is okay but not really competitive it's more for fun i think 
Uh, 1v1 in cap again, not really supported, uh, so it is what it is, but yeah. Like OU, Ubers, UU, RU, NU, PU, LC, and now ZU I think is starting to become a tier as well, but maybe we'll do some ZU laddering. I'm not really sure what the ZU meta looks like. Uh, we're still looking for a game, which is, I don't know, like this is why I usually swap over to a secondary account when we look for games. Like, uh, like they just take so long to look for a game. You can obviously skip ahead and find where it is, where the games are. I'll, I might leave timestamps as well to see where the games are. Oh uh, yeah, I'll probably do that if you want to skip ahead. But if you want to stay here and talk to me, that's cool too. You can listen to my stories and rambling on about how we're nowhere on the uh, OU ladder or anything. I guess we can discuss how I feel about the uh, new drops to, or not new drops, but the unbans rather. They unbanned um, Durant and they unbanned Mamoswine. So the tier has some very powerful, like, very, very powerful uh, breakers now, and that's pretty tough to deal with, but... Okay, so we get a game, but like I was saying, this tier has some powerful breakers, and Mian Xiao and Toxtricity is definitely one of them. We'll definitely see how we handle it. Um, I think Incineroar is probably fine as a lead. Honestly, Weezing is probably fine too. Uh, yeah, we'll just try to get up T-Spike slash will Either one works, honestly. Um, the issue is, if it's lead Lycanroc, it could be a little problematic. Mimikyu is also pretty threatening in this uh, in this generation, so I'm not really sure how we'll handle that. Especially if it's Woodhammer, because then it is no longer walled by Quagsar, but... Generally, they don't run Woodhammer because they want SD, Dual Stab, and then Shadow Sneak, so... Yeah, generally they're not Woodhammer, so... If it is, though, we'll definitely lose, but if it's not, we'll see. He leads Toxtricity. I think it's actually correct to take the uh, Overdrive and just Will-O-Wisp. Volt Switch, okay. Mm. Okay, we actually wouldn't have even lived the Overdrive, Jesus Christ. Or maybe we would have, because he doesn't have Punk Rock. I'm not entirely... He gives were Bombi, dude. That's fairly interesting. I guess we'll go Incineroar. He tries to Stun Spore, okay. Uh, we'll just knock off. Yeah, it's not looking ideal, but it's not too bad either. Okay, I don't know what he's doing here. I guess we'll just bulk up now? Yeah. Now I'll rest. I don't really understand what he's doing. He's just trying to psych his Rebombi. <laughs> I have no clue. We'll go Blissey, try to heal all this off. Or we can go Skarm as well. Yeah, Skarm is fine. <laughs> we guess we could have gone Blissey. Shell Smash, okay, we have to Toxic, of course. Um, or Focus Blast. Wow, okay, that's a lot of damage. It's not terrible here, but Softballed again. Focus Blast shouldn't kill. Yeah, uh, we're barely living, but it's not terrible at least. Yikes, 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 but not bad, not bad. Uh, we'll softball again. Okay, Miancha wants to come out. Oh, our Weezing is pretty much dead. Yikes, dude, yikes. You know what? I guess we go Weezing anyway and pray. Hopefully he CCs. Oh, man, this is a lot of damage. I don't know if we live the... Okay, we definitely don't live the Rock Slide. Jesus Christ, okay. We have to go Skarmory and get up Rocks, maybe. Ah, this is not looking good at all for us. He goes for Bombi. We'll go Blissey and Heal Bell. Uh, this is just not looking good at all for us here. Stunts for it's okay. Well, he U-turns. Wow. We get high. Maybe we should have Toxic then, but it's a hard call to make, obviously. Uh, Toxtricity wants to come out instead. Interesting. If we get the... Can we get the heal bell off? Dude, that's so annoying. That is super annoying that we couldn't get the heal bell off. Oh, man. Okay. Hmm. Uh, I guess we go Quag. Uh, play rough. If he's Woodhammer, we do just lose, so we have to take that risk anyway. So we'll just recover up. Uh, Rebombi does die, so if, yeah, we'll get the recover off freely. Okay, he's definitely boom bursting, right? Like, that is not a play you make if you Volt Switch. Yeah, okay, nice. No, we can... Ah, uh, this is tough. Yeah, I guess we have to soft both. Uh, I was thinking we could Toxic case during the Mian Chow, but it's not worth it. Uh, we obviously just go Skarmory here, as he knocks off our Shed Shell, which is annoying, but we do live the CC next, I think. So yeah, okay, that's fine. Now we can just spam Roost a little bit. Um, yeah, get into his, uh, get, start annoying him a bit, basically. Toxtricity wants to come out. Yeah, he's definitely Wolchging, but I can't risk it. Because if we lose our Quagsar, we just lose the game. He has so many things that... Okay, wow, perfect. Good thing we didn't risk it. Jesus Christ. Okay, we'll Toxic here. Okay, jeez, he didn't go for it. Interesting. Uh, yeah, we'll just softball again. Uh, maybe he wants to Boom Burst again now, but yeah, probably not, right? That just... Uh, man, we have to go Skarm. CC does 50 this time? What? Why did it do so much? Ah, uh, that was a max roll. It had to be. That's the only explanation. Will Roost, though? Uh, hopefully it doesn't get a max roll again. Okay, good. We'll Roost one more time, maybe. Uh, this is not looking good at all. 
Yeah, this is not looking good at all. Obviously, we are starting to PP stall its, uh, its close combats, which is pretty good for us, but yeah, it's not it's not ideal by any means. Of, like, uh, we'll go Quag now, maybe, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's very tough. Yeah, we should have probably gone Quag, but man, this Miancho is going to be very tough to deal with. Like Rock wants to come out, that's okay. We can just go Quag there. If he sets up rocks, then we're not in a good position, but SD is okay. Or, yeah, I think SD is okay. We just click Earthquake here and get a kill. Okay, Blastoise doesn't give us a kill, but it does let us get a Mantine, which is almost the same thing. Okay, him getting away a rocks is super annoying. We have to Scald here, of course. Hopefully he goes Toxicity and he lets us burn it. That would be obviously ideal, but if it's not, it's not, and it's, yeah, it is what it is. Hopefully he does just let that happen, though. He just Rapid Spins again, okay. Okay. That's fine. I really can't afford going Quagsire. I guess we'll go Incineroar then. This is okay. Uh, we can get in Skarmory now. Uh, okay, SDs, but he's my he's only plus one, so we can get up our rocks. And Shadow Claw shouldn't 2 at all, so we can roost now. Hopefully he SDs again, and we can just... Okay, don't crit. Thank you. Uh, we can roost one more time. We can get back to full HP. As he SDs, now we can go Quagsire. And, yeah. <sighs> okay. Alright, now it's not looking too bad, so I can recover here. I think, well, we have to recover here. There's no other play. You have to go Skarm, of course. We have no other play. CC. Okay, uh, we can roost. Oh, he's gonna flinch. Oh, man. Are you serious, dude? Really? Okay, dude. Whatever. I guess we go Mantine then. That That's super annoying. Okay, he U-turns and he crits. That's <laughs> great. Just great, dude. Just great. Nice. Exactly how we want this game to go, obviously. Uh, we don't even get the burn, so... Yeah, this is not this is not going our way at all, but we go Quag here, I guess. And now we can recover, maybe. Yeah, this is not looking hot at all for us. We'll recover one more time. He dies to rock, so if he wants to switch out, I'm not that mad about it. But, man, this is not looking good at all. Toxicity, okay. Is he going to Volt Switch? That's an interesting choice by him. Well, let's go, Blissey. He doesn't Volt Switch, okay. Boom Wrist, uh, we have to self bolt. He makes the good plan, goes to Lycanroc. Can we go Quag? Oh my god, even CC from this is doing so much damage, dude. He's gonna go for the crit as well, eventually. He's taking more and more life rope damage, though. That's great for us. Oh, he's going for the defense drop. Interesting, okay. <sighs> okay, we Earthquake here. Okay, so now... Ooh, I don't know. I actually don't know here. Yeah, I don't know at all. Toxicity comes out. I think our correct play is actually... Mm, I don't know. I think we can sack Mantine, maybe. Easy Boom Burst. Okay. He probably wants to stand in Boom Burst again, so that's okay with me. We have Seismic Toss. Okay, we get rid of this, so that's one issue gone, at least. We'll go... Uh, how many CCs does he have left? He has three left? Okay. Okay. Hmm. Can we go Mantine first? He knocks off. Okay, we Incineroar now. And then uh, we go Blissey now. This is so tough. How do we win this, dude? Okay, he CCs. There's one gone. Now we go into Incineroar. And I think we win because he's forced to CC here. Okay, we actually even live that. Perfect. So if we land the Toxic, we just guaranteed win. Yes, absolutely perfect here. And Rockside might kill us, but that's fine. Oh, no, it's not. If he crit CCs, we lose. Oh, boy. Okay, he doesn't crit CC. Okay, dude. Jesus Christ, that was way too big of a threat. Thank God. Okay, so with that, I think we'll definitely end the video here. Um, we'll check if we're top five. If we are, we can make the like how I accidentally got top five in UU title, and that'd be great. Uh, we'll check obviously after ladder updates. But this game was a very big, good example of how to play against a very breaker heavy team. Literally, he had Shell Smash Blastoise. He had this is hyper offense. It li literally was. It was a uh, for Bombi to set up webs, and then like everything else just to break through anything. Obviously if he had like a... I don't know, if he had a Durant, we just would have lost immediately. There was just nothing to do here. Like if he had a Durant over Mimikyu, it just would have been done because Quagsire cannot wall X's or uh, Durant. So that's what it is. Ladder probably updated, so we'll check. Come on, top 5. That's it. Right, perfect. So we are top 5, and uh, we can put that in the title. So if you pill count it because of the title, we're top 5 now, so that's great. Anyway. Thanks for watching. Bye.